boys and girls, it's great to see you again. Are you ready to review drawing the shapes again? And I'm going to also introduce you to a few new ones. So get ready. First, boys and girls, I want you to get a white piece of paper. And we're going to fold it in half. So get corner to corner. As you can. Looks like this. Now I want you to fold that half in half. Try to match up the corners. There you go. And fold, unfold it. And I have it up here. Now I need you to get a pencil. I'm going to use a black marker so you can see what I'm doing, but I need you to use a pencil. First with your pencil, I want you to draw over those fold lines. Oh my goodness. It's not easy for me to draw those lines up here. But you should be able to do better than me. So we make four boxes. Now I want you to number each box. Here's box number one, box number two, box number three, and box number four. Boys and girls, the first shape that we are going to review is a circle. So I want you to draw a circle in box number one. And just do the best you can. And how do we spell circle? Say it with me, please. C I R C L E. And I want you to write that with me also. How do we uh, pronounce circle? Circle. C-I-R-C-L-E. Now go to box two. I want you to draw another circle. And in this circle, I want you to shade it right down here. We're going to give this circle some body. And so what do we have now? We have a sphere. Boys and girls, as you write it, I want you to say it with me. Here we go. S P H E R E and what is this shape? Sphere. Good job. Yeah! All right, let's go on to box number three. Here in box number three, we're going to draw a square. Remember, a square has four equal sides, so try to get those sides as equal as possible. Now let's spell square. S Q U A. R E and how do we pronounce this again? Square. S Q U A R E. Now here's the one I love, and I know you love this one too. You start with the square. Let's start with the square right here. Remember, square has four equal sides. And then we're going to draw another square right about here. We're going to make some magic happen. We're going to go to this corner here and you're going to draw, I made a circle there so you can see where I'm doing it, and draw a line from that corner to this corner. Go up here, I'm going to put a circle here so you can see which corner I'm at. And I'm going to put my pencil down and then I'm going to draw a line from this corner to this corner. And I'm going to go to this back corner right here. You see it there, boys and girls? Put your pencil down and draw a line from that corner to that front corner. Are you starting to see a certain shape? Go back here. I have my circle. Put your pencil down. Draw a line from that corner to the front corner. and. Magic has just happened for us. What shape is this? Did you say cube? Yes! Now tell me how to spell it, boys and girls. C-U-B-E. Cube! Yeah! You guys, that's great! Now I want you to turn over your paper. Okay, we have our paper turned over. Now we're going to draw a line down that fold again in the back. I'm doing a better job now because of practice. And when we practice, we get better. 
Now on the front we had one, two, three, four. So this one's gonna be box five, six, seven, eight. In box five, I want you to draw a rectangle. A rectangle has two equal sides. Boys and girls, help me spell rectangle. I want to hear you. R E C T A N G L E. Rectangle. Now in box six, I want you to draw a rectangle again. Remember, a rectangle has two equal sides. Then I want you to put a rectangle below it. Here, and we're going to make some magic happen again. Go to the right corner up here. I'm going to put that dot, draw a line from that dot to from that corner to the corner in front of it. Go on the back here to the dot. Put your pencil down, draw a line from that corner to the corner in front. Now we're going back to this corner back here. See the dot? Put your pencil on it and draw a line from it to the front corner. And we're going to this back, back corner back there, boys and girls. Put your pencil down and draw a line from that corner to that front corner. Now I want you to yell out, what magical shape did we make up here, here? What is it, boys and girls? Rectangular prism. Yes. So. How do we spell rectangular? Spell it with me. R E C T A N G U L A R. Rectangular. Boy, that's a long word. Now, how do we spell prism? P R I S M. So yell it out, boys and girls. This is a rectangular prism. Yes. Box number seven. We are going to now draw a triangle. A triangle has three sides. In triangles, the sides can be different sizes, but this one we're going to have the same size. How do we spell triangle, boys and girls? T. R I A N G L E. Triangle. Yes. Let's go to box eight. We're going to draw a triangle. Here's a triangle. And we're going to draw another triangle over here. There. Now go to the very top. We're going to put a dot there so you can see where I am. And do a little dashed line going about right there and stop. Put a dot there. From that dot, put your pencil there. Draw a line to this corner. Put your pencil back on that dot again and draw a line over to this corner. Now boys and girls, do you know what shape this is? It's a pyramid. Great. How do you spell pyramid? P-Y-R-A-M-I-D. Correct. Do you notice there are several different shapes in this pyramid? There are triangles and the base of it is a square. Great job boys and girls. So you need to get another piece of white paper and fold it like I showed you. And we're going to draw a line down the folds again. Now on our other paper we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So four plus four equals eight. So we're going to number this box up here, number nine, ten, eleven, and box twelve. 
the first number nine, we are going to draw a triangle again. Remember, a triangle has three sides, not necessarily three equal sides, but we're going to make this one. I want to make a triangle look like this. And how do we spell triangle? I want to hear you. And you're writing at your spelling. T R I A N G L E. Triangle. Yay! Yay! Now we're going to go over here to box 10. We're going to draw the bottom part of the triangle, make like a V. Now instead of going straight across, you can do a little dash line here, going straight across. But I want you to make kind of a circular thing on the top. And that kind of looks like an ice cream cone, doesn't it? Yes. Do you know what that this shape is? I kind of said it. It's a cone. How do you spell cone? C-O-N-E. And what is it? Cone. Now, if we draw it upside down, do this at the house here, and do the dash line across again, and this circular part down here, this is like a cone on a hat, a party hat that you put on your head. Now, let's go to box number 11. We're going to do another review of a shape. And we're drawing a, tell me, what do you think this is? This is a rectangle. Yay again. Woohoo! How do you spell rectangle, boys and girls? R-E-C-T-A-N-G-L-E. -E. Rectangle. See how smart you're getting? You're getting smarter and smarter. The more you practice, the smarter you get. So now I want you to draw a rectangle, kind of part of a rectangle over here. Instead of drawing the, we're going to, at the top, make kind of a circle on top. And down here, make a circle down here. Lord. What shape is this, boys and girls? What did you say? Yell it out! Cylinder, yes! C-Y-L-I-N-D-E-R. Cylinder. I want to thank you boys and girls for this fantastic review of the shapes. You were fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you the next time. Bye. Teaching tips, number one, use the shape drawing tutorial as a reward after students have done well on a test. Display good behavior or respects the teacher. Number two, put shapes together. Triangle and square to make a house, rectangle and four circles to make a wagon, etc. Students can do the art as a review of geometric shapes when they have free time.